each second that passes, data becomes bigger and the world around it becomes more complex. You've blinked and peak oil ends. Governments change. Homes become hotels. Giants merge. Different sources, different structures, and different data types have made it harder to find what you're looking for. Harder to make connections and gain the insight that separates you from others. Because big data doesn't always give you the big picture. FactSet does. So, when the global news cycle becomes inaudible, FactSet lets you distill it down to the crucial intelligence and go from insight to profit faster. When global markets look impenetrable, FactSet helps you spark new ideas and trace them through supply chains, political dependencies, and emerging trends to find the most promising investments. When your organization is generating ideas faster than you can interpret them, FactSet makes it easy to pull viewpoints together faster to share, combine, and act. When your investments are spread across asset classes and geographies, FactSet creates a window to find opportunity, measure performance, and predict where to go next. You need to find answers everywhere, across your organization, all at the same time. FactSet collaborates with the world's investment professionals to do just that. We believe integrity is the foundation of trust, and that collectively, we can solve our greatest challenges. We search where others do not. We embrace new ideas. We search the world for possibilities. FactSet. See the advantage. Reed Elsevier Philippines provides quality services to all Relics Group divisions worldwide. It started its operations last 2010. As the business matured through the years, so does our company's vision and mission. Equipped with comprehensive training and leading technology, our vision is to be the center of excellence with uniquely branded culture, engaged talent, and leading technology. Our mission is to help customers gain insights and achieve results in faster, more effective ways. We support our business partners with services that deliver innovative solutions, superior outcomes, and exceptional customer experience which is aligned with our employee value proposition, valuing what matters to all our unique customers. In 2014, we launched our employee value proposition, and that is valuing what matters. We value what matters to our employees by acknowledging that our professional, engaged, and fun people are at the heart of our success as an organization. We value customers by putting them in the center of everything that we do, helping them to gain insights and achieve results in faster and more effective ways. We value our stakeholders by providing them with services that deliver innovative solutions superior outcomes, and exceptional customer experience. We provide exceptional customer experience and contribute to help our organization become the center of excellence with uniquely branded culture, engaged talents, and leading technology. We value our people and customers. Their hard-won loyalty is important to us. We commit to provide our customers the quality service they deserve by having the passion for winning. We practice boundarylessness by making every experience uniquely REPH through teamwork and collaboration with our customers across different industries around the world. We promote customer focus by putting our customers in the center of every decision we make and we continuously find innovative ways to exceed their expectations. As we now fully embrace the challenge of creating an effortless customer experience, all of us here in Reed Elsevier Philippines, regardless of division or function, must contribute to improving the customer experience because everything we do impacts our customers. We all own the customer experience in every customer touchpoint, in every step of our customer's journey. Our global CX vision is to provide our customers with an effortless customer experience. This depends on every one of us as REPH employees, 
as well as Relics team members. You are the customer experience. Welcome to the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, the country's first Polytechnic U. PUP is a state-run university governed by Republic Act 8292, known as the Higher Education Modernization Act of 1997, and its implementing rules and regulations contained in the Commission on Higher Education Memorandum Circular Number 4 series of 1997. It is home to more than 70,000 students, making it the largest state university in the Philippines in terms of student population. It is the university's commitment to give qualified and talented students access to quality and responsive education to aid them in the achievement of their dreams and the improvement of their lives. True to its commitment of making education accessible to all, the university has strategically established campuses and branches all over Luzon. PUP boasts of its roster of 1,483 full-time and part-time faculty members and 707 administrative employees. The faculty and employees perform the collective goal of training, servicing, and supporting the university's stakeholders. From its humble beginnings in 1904, BUP was originally established as the Manila Business School, primarily for the training of personnel for government service and to provide skills needed for private employment. Four years later, the Manila Business School was renamed Philippine School of Commerce or PSC and merged with the Philippine Normal School from 1933 to 1946. Through the virtue of Republic Act 778, BSC was renamed the Philippine College of Commerce or PCC in 1952. In April 1, 1978, PCC was converted into a chartered state university now known as the Polytechnic University of the Philippines by virtue of Presidential Decree Number 1341 issued by the President of the Republic of the Philippines. 
BUP truly has come a long way. From a business school to a premier polytechnic university, the very first in the country. Every year, families take the Polytechnic University of the Philippines one of the 10,000 who will be given a chance to be new PUPNs. At present, the university offers more than 80 programs in the graduate and undergraduate levels with its strategic direction of making the colleges vertically articulated. Graduate School College of Accountancy and Finance College of Arts and Letters College of Architecture and Fine Arts College of Business Administration College of Communication College of Computer and Information Sciences College of Education College of Engineering College of Law College of Political Science and Public Administration College of Social Sciences and Development College of Science College of Tourism, Hospitality and Transportation Management College of Human Kinetics Institute of Technology further strengthens its open university system through expanded tertiary education equivalency and accreditation program and the non-traditional system program. It caters to borderless educational system that aims to reach many learners as possible. For more than a century of existence, countless outstanding achievements have raised BUP to the level of a national comprehensive university. With the vision to transform the university into an epistemic community, PUP subscribes to the idea that a university should have an extensive research and extension development culture. Proof to this are numerous research undertakings of the university. Each year, PUP surpasses national passing rate in licensure examinations and ranks among the top in different academic disciplines. has also institutionalized academic exchange and international cooperation with various countries all over the world through its Office of International Affairs. Today, BUP is relishing its successes and its students are enjoying unprecedented academic opportunities, an enhanced campus environment, upgraded colleges, state-of-the-art technology, and nationally and internationally recognized programs. It has gone far from what it was more than a century ago. 
this is mainly due to the support given by the government, the PUP community, and its benefactors. With the combined efforts, PUP will continue to be a partner in nation building and in poverty alleviation for the marginalized sector of the society with quality, responsive, and relevant education as a tool. PUP, the country's first polytechnic year. Allow me to share with you my vision for the university. I envision PUP to become the pioneering and leading national polytechnic university in the 21st century. With a national polytechnic university status, it will bring more opportunities for the university to further strengthen its academic programs and improve organizational performance as an institution for higher education. In pursuit for this vision, my mission for PUP is for it to recognize its catalytic role for national development. PUP will ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities through a re-engineered polytechnic education. By re-engineering, we look into the existing processes and programs in order to achieve higher quality of academic programs and services following the principles of effectiveness and efficiency. With this mission in mind, I have formulated 10 pillars as my reform agenda for the university. Pillar 1, Dynamic, Transformational, and Responsible Leadership. Empower academic and administrative leaders by following the core principles of good governance to create collective growth and unity. Here I would like to highlight an innovation by introducing the development of an integrity management plan to assess, plan, and implement anti-corruption strategies that will secure the institution against corruption and abuse. Likewise, asset management and resource generation will be aggressively pursued to ensure productivity and finance the implementation of the plans and projects for the university. Pillar 2 responsive and innovative curricula and instruction. We aim to provide world-class polytechnic education that responds to national and global needs by developing intellectually challenging curricula and design academic programs that are based on industry demands to provide the learners with adequate and relevant competencies and skills and prepare them for a successful and rewarding careers. In a rapidly changing world, we recognize the paradigm shift in curriculum to outcome-based education with lifelong learning approach. Pillar 2 also sits on the framework of internationalization of Philippine higher education through transnational education by promoting academic mobility among faculty and students and global dimension into the curricula and teaching process. Pillar 3 enabling and productive learning environment. Following education in Industry 4.0, we aim to increase and enhance the use of new technology to enable student learning and engagement, as well as advanced teaching process and methodology through new and state-of-the-art facilities that will support the overall learning and teaching experience in the university. Pillar 3 likewise includes campus development, and the provision of conducive learning centers and facilities for students and faculty. Pillar 4, Holistic Student Development and Engagement. We will empower students as well as rounded learners and active young leaders as we open opportunities for various academic mobility and venues for honing skills and personal development being the principal stakeholder of the university. 
recognize academic freedom as a form of self-expression and a platform to showcase students' intellect, skills, and creativity. Pillar 5, Empowered Faculty Members and Employees. Likewise, we are looking into the holistic development of our faculty and employees as productive, competent, and experts in their respective fields. We will encourage our faculty roster through formal education, capacity building, research and extension initiatives, faculty immersion, and other academic engagements, both local and abroad. We will ensure that both our faculty and employees will have a vibrant career development path as public servants in this state university. Pillar 6, Vigorous Research Production and Utilization. We will continue to strengthen the research culture in the university by promoting discovery and innovation through increasing disciplinary and collaborative research integration across academic disciplines to create new knowledge, utilize research findings, and develop innovative products. Pillar 7, Global Academic Standards and Excellence. Achieve the highest levels of recognition in quality and compliance standards from CHED, AACUP, and other international accrediting and regulatory bodies for higher education. We will intensify our efforts to achieve and sustain better academic performance and continue to excel as a top performing school in various professional licensure examinations and produce board top notchers as well as sustain our status of being the most preferred graduates of employers. Likewise, we aim to establish and to be recognized as centers of development and excellence in our academic programs. Pillar 8, Synergistic, Productive, Strategic Networks and Partnerships. Synergize and force strategic linkages and partnerships across all sectors of society and the global community in line with the overall plans and programs of the university. Establish alliance with the government, industry sector, NGOs, and the academe will lead to resource sharing, program support, and research collaborations beneficial for all. Pillar 9, Active and Sustained Stakeholders Engagement. Harness a healthy and harmonious organization by empowering all its stakeholders, both internal and external, through open communication networks, consultative and participative undertakings, and team building activities, recognizing that all stakeholders can greatly contribute towards the betterment of the university. Pillar 10, Sustainable Social Development Programs and Projects. Expand access to education knowledge building, and information dissemination through sharing of expertise and resources for community development, support inclusivity approach and education by embarking on Education on Wheels, which aims to bring access to education closer to communities, following the principle of no one will be left behind. As the University of the People, we should bring the university closer to their hearts to serve their needs and extend assistance in mainstreaming public service. Our institution must continue to stand as one for the values that we have inculcated. For the past 115 years, we have exemplified our quest for truth, excellence, equity, relevance, effectiveness, integrity, and academic freedom. Lastly, I call upon each and everyone to join me in this journey. Together we stand as one para sa sintang paralan para sa ating bayan. Ako si Zelo. Lahat ng heel, lahat ng heat, lahat ng trendy. Ako sa 
naman si Mary Rose. At ito ang inyong online tambayan. Ako naman si Eri. At ito ang PUP TV. Pinakasasapan sa pangantasan. Guys, wala ba kayong napapansin? Wala si Kesa! <laughs> Pero bukod dun, bukod dun, hindi nyo ba nalalamdaman na per months na? Wala! At ilang tulog na lang, malapit na magpasko, di ba? Tama! Ah, at ipagdiniwang na natin kayong October, ang anniversary ng ating isipang paaralan! Tama! Pero alam niyo ba kung kailan eksaktong ipinagdiriwang ang founding anniversary ng ating isipang paaralan? Ngayong first week of October. Sabi ko na sa iyo eh. Oh talaga namang nakaka-proud ang maging isang PUP yan, di ba? Oo naman, kasi bukod sa tayo ang may pinakamababang tuition fee dito sa buong Pilipinas, tayo din ang kauno-unahang Polytechnic University sa buong bansa. Eh, teka lang. Ilang taon na nga ba ang ano, PUP? Ay, alam mo makikita yan sa logo natin eh. Di ba nakalagay doon? PUP 1904. So, kung 2013 na ngayon at 1904 tinatagang PUP, 109th founding anniversary ng ating sintang para. Oo nga, at speaking of logo, alam niyo ba kung ano ang kwento at kasaysayan kung paano na po ang kulay Golden Star at ang kulay maroon sa paligid ito? Paano nga ba? Pwede siya na ating alamin dito sa ating episode ng PUP logo. Dito sa Anggit. Alam niyo ba na ang logo ay ginagamit bilang pagkakilala ng isang establishmento, gusali, paralan o ano bang samahan? Ang bawat logo ay may kanya-kanya kahulugan at simbolo. Pero ano nga ba ang simbolo sa likod ng logo ng ating sitang paaralan? Sabay-sabay natin alamin ang kahulugan at kwento sa likod ng ating logo dito sa ang hit featuring PUP Logo. Hindi ko pa alam. Ano ba yung logo? Nakalimutan ko eh. Hindi simbolo yung PUP. Simula sa katatagan ng ating universidad. Excellent. Excellent yung PUP. Parang yung simbol yun ng ano, yun sa humanity. Yung bilog daw. Infinite wisdom. STAR stands for the perfection of human person as well as the search for truth. PUP logo, ano, yun yung dream namin. Kailangan namin maabot, mag-graduate namin dito. Dates back to the conceptualization of this logo, simplified adoption from Leonardo da Vinci's famous drawing, the proportions of the human figure. At that time, I was the executive assistant of Dr. Nemesha Ibrahim. He was the one who conceptualized it. Ang hugis between ng ating logo ay isinunod mula sa tanyag na likha ni Leonardo da Vinci na the proportions of human figure, o mas kilala sa tawag na Vitruvian Man. Ang katawagang Vitruvian ay hinango mula kay Vitruvius, isang arkitek ng Romano noong 180. In our logo, the golden section is, of course, the center of the five concentric circles, zeroing in on the midpoint of the PUP star logo. Ang tinatawag na golden section sa between ng ating logo ay siyang sentro ng limang bilog. Ang limang bilog na ito ang tinatawag na five concentric circles na nangangahulugan ng integrity, ingenuity, industry, intelligence, at internationalism ng PUP bilang isang pamantasan. This logo serves as a constant reminder to all future generations in the community of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines that from the ancient times, the flowering of ideas from the golden section stimulates proportionate economy, social justice, truth, and beauty. The Polytechnic University of the Philippines star logo becomes a symbol of light for the entire nation. Ang galing! Yung pala yun! Ito ka pa naman, Jello. Hindi ako tapos nakikinig eh. <laughs> Baka naman nakalimutan ko lang. <laughs> eh, wait lang guys. Eh, maiba naman tayo. Hindi nyo ba alam na ang PUP, hindi rin tayo pa uhulis natin? Oo naman. naman! At pinatunayan yan ng ating talawang ka-scholar ng bayan na kung saan. Kung saan nag-top lang naman si 
sila sa nutritionist dietitian ng Century Exam 2013. Wow! Tara, panoorin natin ito ang kanilang kwento sa PUPian! So, um, ako pala si Julius Cesar A. Bagdad. So, I'm 20 years old and I took up BS Nutrition and Dietetics in the Sabino. Ako si Giancarlo Armurillo. I graduated as cum laude with GPA of 1.56. And 21 years old na ako, I have my license number. Um, proud R&B, proud PPM. Ako kasi ano, even start pa lang, nagkaroon na ako ng goals. So sinabi ko sa sarili ko, pagpasok ko sa PUP, kailangan makakuha ko ng laging honor from the university. Kailangan maging top master ako ng board exam na. So start pa lang, kailangan may goal setting ka na. Nag-set pa lang ng goal na magkaroon ng laude at saka magkaroon ng um, top sa board exam. So yun ang, yun ang naging goal ko. Two days after malabas yung result, naghanap na talaga ako ng work. So experience ko talaga is napakahirap. Kahit sabihin mo ng top nature ka, um, naging cum laude ka, hindi pa rin ganun kadali pumasok sa tunay na mundo. Nag-apply na ako sa isang agency sa dito sa Pilipinas, pero itatry ko pa rin na pumasok sa mga food campaign. Alam naman natin bilang isang PUP yan, tayo pinanganak na uh, kulang sa financial na kapasidad. So kung meron lang tayo is utak. So utak ang puunan natin. Ang pagiging isang top nature ay simula pa lang yan. Ng, ng buhay. So, ang tunay talaga is nagsisimula talaga yan after ng college natin. So, ngayon pa lang mga kapwa ko PUP yan, uh, mag-aaral tayong mabuti. Alam nyo kasi, naniniwala ko, knowledge without faith is nothing. Sa lahat na pinag-aaralan natin, dapat laging ang sentro, Panginoon. Wow! Ang galing talaga nila, no? Pero alam nyo, baka pwede sila maging personal dietitian ni Kesa. Hi guys! And dito ko ngayon sa SMS Convention Center para sa 24th Philippine Travel Mart ng Philippine Tour Operators Association o ng Filtoa. At guys, alam niyo ba, sa loob nito ay ang buong Pilipinas. Kalain mo nag-cash ang buong Pilipinas! Hindi ka naniniwala? Hmm. Tara, puntahan natin! Sa ating makaalaman na ang Pilipinas ay isang bansa mayaman sa magaganda. Magaganda! Ano ka ba? Magagandang tanawin. Kaya naman, lakas loob, taas noo, pulo ang dugo na tinanong ng PUP Creative sa mga tao rito kung bakit nga ba it's more fun in the Philippines. Alamin natin! Para. Bakit po it's more fun in the Philippines? Um, because mas marami tayong makikitang sceneries dito. Because you have the beautiful places here in the Philippines. Philippines is the best among other countries. Yes, big house! A wow country. Shadow the destination. You like it? Yes. Philippines is a wild country with wild people. Yes. Exciting. Tsaka madami mong pupuntahan. Bakit it's more fun in the Philippines? Kasi nandito.
I love the graduates of PUP. They are they're not only fun to work with, but you can rely on them. They are very, very dependable. PUP graduates are an exact match and fit to Pagasa Steel's mission and vision. The reason why we prefer the PUP graduates is the fact that we noticed that um, they have a common denominator, very hardworking. You see, whatever happens, they'd still work. Even if it's raining, they'd still come to work. You give them a brilliant. Very passionate, aside from being resilient, because we can see that they're very dedicated with their job. And we've seen a lot of PUP graduates, not just in one department. They turn out to uh, adapt very well and adjust well to our company here in the Philippines. They're productive employees and they stay with us for a long time. Integrity and ethics, drive for results, intellectual capacity, and adaptability. So when we hire PUBNs, they have this kind of um, they have this kind of competencies. Of course, they're very intelligent people, responsible, responsible in a sense because whenever um, we meet these graduates and we ask them what are their future plans, they would always come up with answers like helping out their family or because I'm done with school, I'll help out another sibling. So you would know already that. Um, these kids, even before um, they actually embark on um, certain work, they already have um, goals in mind. They're not maarte, no? Whatever you give them, they know that if it's for the purpose of the job, they will do it. And so they have, uh, they're the ones that survive the challenges of work. They don't shirk away from responsibilities. Um, they're the type who, whatever the job requires, they're up for the challenge. PUPNs enable people everywhere to grow and thrive. PUP is one of the pillars of the nation because it is an institution that provides good graduates and people who really contribute to the success of the community or to the success of the country. All the people associated with PUP. If you're a graduate, congratulations and uh, you should be proud of yourselves. For those of you that are students, 
please continue the tradition, the proud legacy that your school has. Some of you, PUP, you work for us now. We appreciate you. We know you're good employees. For those of you that might work for us in the future, please consider us. We'd love to have you. We know that you make a great employee for us. UPNs, bring everything you are. If you have big ideas, let's talk. Come work where passion meets possibility. You can visit jobs.dell.com for opportunities. You pursue your dreams and work hard for whatever endeavor you will choose. And in the event that you in one of the fastest BPO companies in the Philippines, I would like to invite you to apply in EGS and Alorica Company because our doors are open for all of you. To all the PUPians, let's create a size of smile together. Smart is very happy to have PUP graduates now enjoying their career and let them live more. Hashtag Sites to PUP. We will support you in more ways than one. Tara na! Maging magkasama na tayo. Mabuhay ang PUP! Hi, I'm Engineer Florinda H. Oquindo, Director of the Alumni Relations and Career Development Office. The role of our office is to keep connections among students and alumni, provides complete range of services to students, alumni, and employers in the area of career development. Graduates and professional schools preparations, employee relations, and campus recruitment. We also provide alumni and students with the tools and resources to help find success in all professional endeavors. To all freshmen, please come and visit us. Our office is located at N209 North Wing, second floor. Good morning, guys. Good morning, PUPian. So, I hope everybody's well and at the same time. Good morning, guys. Good morning, PUPian. So, I hope everybody's well and at the same time. So, I'm. Good morning, sa ating mga sujante from our from our Facebook Live, the PUP Career Center. Facebook page and also for our Zoom participants. Good morning. So shout out tayo sa ating PUP branches and campuses. We do have from PUP Mulanay. We also do have from PUP Tagig and General Luna. So guys, so except from the PUP main, galing sa College of Accountancy and Finance, well as the College of Arts and Letters. So We had lined up several activities for you guys. Marami po tayong mapag-uusapan mamaya hanggang maghapon ngayong araw na to. So we'll be starting with the uh, Red LCBR for their topics like between the spreadsheet, virtual interviews, resume writing, and power dressing. We also do have finance and accounting cafe and building the future for Filipino financial services professional. Personal goal setting, yan lang yung mga topic na uh, isa, na isa, is, na isa, isa ng ating mga industry speaker. And at the same time, we uh, let me think or let me acknowledge the presence of our industry speaker. We also do have we also do have here in the morning session Red Elsevier, Miss Cat, Miss Kamai. 
box set, Miss uh, Angelica Echo. And for the afternoon session, we'll be having uh, again Mr. George Martin from BXI. We also do have from Red Elsevier. We also do have from BXI, Mr. Miss uh, Mr. MJ. And at the same time, we also do have a new uh, new industry partner, Miss Mr. Miku Ilagan from Pyreto Services. Okay, guys. So. Tinitingnan ko sa ating poll, meron na tayong marami sa ating mga participants ngayon is babae. And at the same time, most of them is galing sa PU, PUP branches and campuses. So, they're looking for career development, OJT station, part-time job, and a permanent job. So, guys, so... Career readiness is one of the options or one of the objectives of our office. This is in terms of attainment and demonstration or knowledge and behavior and skills in preparing our graduates and having a good transition or successful transition between their life in the university to employment. So it includes uh, articulating your strength and, uh, uh, strength and weakness and understanding to be more professional and preparing you into your lifelong learning and ever-changing world. So... Let me first discuss the etiquette for this webinar. Okay. So uh, as I mentioned, we do have two participants, guys. We do have our Zoom participants. So please remember to always keep your microphone off while the webinar is ongoing and please do always 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 remember that this webinar is on live stream so lahat po ng uh, lahat po ng once na naka-open po ang ating mic nakikita po uh, naririnig po nila tayo Next one, and we'll be having a Q&A portion. So you can interact with our speaker by raising your hand or you can chop your chat your question or type your question in the chat set uh, in the comment section or the the chat box section of the Zoom. Next one, we also do have our stream participants. For our stream participants, you may use your Zoom. Uh, you may use your comment section for your question. Just kindly introduce yourself with your course, year, and section. We will be monitoring questions from our Facebook page and we'll be addressing all of the questions from the Zoom and the Facebook during the Q&A portion, portion. So guys, for everyone, please, evil, um, please accomplish the evaluation link that will be flashed at the Zoom chat and the comment section at the end of this live stream. So your digital certificate will be available two to three weeks after the conduct of this webinar, and it will be accessible only for six hours after this webinar. Okay? So yun po yung mga reminders natin, and at the same time, can we, uh, without... Okay. So, check muna natin kung meron pa tayong nakalimutan pagdating sa ating shout out na branches. Okay, mula na General Luna. Good morning. Good morning. Sa Facebook page, meron din tayo from Mulanay and General Luna in the gig. So mara maraming salamat sa pag-join nyo sa Alumni Relation and Career Development Webinar. So this is Professor Jane Pulma, the Chief for the Career Development and Placement Office and currently your moderator for today's event. So I hope that 
marami kayong matutunan on this webinar. Okay? So, let me introduce you to our first speaker. Okay? So, guys, watch the small, the APP or the audiovisual presentation or background of the, the Red Elsevier. Reed Elsevier Philippines provides quality services to all relics groups. that deliver innovative solutions, superior outcomes, and exceptional customer experience proposition, valuing what matters to all our unique customers. In 2014, we launched our employee value proposition, and that is valuing what matters. We value what matters to our employees by acknowledging that our professional, engaged, and fun people are at the heart of our success as an organization. We value customers by putting them in the center of everything that we do, helping them to gain insights and achieve results in faster and more effective ways. We value our stakeholders by providing them with service. that deliver innovative solutions, superior outcomes, and exceptional customer experience. We provide exceptional customer experience and contribute to help our organization become the center of excellence with uniquely branded culture, engaged talents, and leading technology. We value our people and customers. Their hard-won loyalty is important to us. We commit to provide our customers the quality service they deserve by having the passion for winning. We practice boundarylessness by making every experience uniquely our APH through teamwork and collaboration with our customers across different industries around the world. We promote customer focus by putting our customers in the center of every decision we make and we continuously find innovative ways to exceed their expectations. As we now fully embrace the challenge of creating an effortless customer experience, all of us here in Reed Elsevier Philippines, regardless of division or function, must contribute to improving the customer experience because everything we do impacts our customers. We all own the customer experience in every customer touch point and every step of our customer's journey. Our global CX vision is to provide our customers with an effortless customer experience. This depends on every one of us as our EPH employees as well as Relics team members. You are the customer experience.
Okay. So Red Elsevier is a world leading provider of professional information, solution in science, medical, legal, and risk management and business to business sector. So to discuss about So to discuss about live between spreadsheet, Leah, let's welcome Ms. Ms. Kamai from Red Elsevier Philippines. Ms. Kamai. Hello, ma'am. Hi. Uh, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> and yes, great morning to all of us, um, BUPNs. Um, can, can everyone hear and see me just checking? Yes, sir. Audible can apply. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. All right. I'm not sure if the audience or all students or there's also professors in the mix, no? But yes, a very great morning to, to us all. A little correction, though. I am Mr. Yada Kami from Reed Elsevier Philippines or REPH. Okay. So I will be your speaker for today for an hour or so. So, yes, let's make the most out of this and let's get the ball rolling. I have here my colleague, Grazel, to, to help me assist on presenting my slides. Um, hang on, Yada. Um, uh, can okay. I request for a co-host access so that I can share? Thank you. All right, while we're waiting for that access, um, maybe we can sh give some shout outs for all of the branches that are present here. Um, I think we have Ma Maluyan branch, General Luna, and of course the Santa Mesa, Santa Mesa main branch. All right, I think uh, you could, can you see the screen now, everyone? Okay, thank you for confirming. Okay, so our topic for today is entitled Life Between Spreadsheets. Actually, my topic for today is for third year college um, accountancy students. No? But I'm seeing a lot of other courses a while back uh, while playing the ATV, but actually that's fine. You know, we can make this topic applicable to everyone naman. So yes, I hope everyone nakapag breakfast na. It's a bit early. And or at least coffee, no? But just to be sure that we are all alive, alert, awake, enthusiastic, we will start. Um, we will have a game first, no? Next slide, Kat. All right. Okay, parang tulog pa yung iba. So let's see how much PUPNs are you. Okay, the game is called Never Have I Ever. Okay, are you familiar with this game, guys? I, well, don't worry, guys. For those of you who's not familiar with this game, let me explain how it works. Okay. Uh, I will read eight questions and you will let me know if you have experienced this or not by chatting in our message box. Um, Kat, if you could assist me to monitor my the, the, the message box. And you will put I have if you have experienced this and I have not if you haven't experienced I'll put sample on the message box. For each of the questions, I will be giving you 10 seconds to answer each. And then we will choose five lucky winners for those who answered I have, because that just shows that he or she really is a legitimate PUPN, or at least from my standpoint of view. Again, there will be eight questions, but we will only choose five random winners so make sure to participate in all of the questions. 
and put your answers in the message box. Again, prizes await for the winners. So are we ready, guys? All right, if we are ready, could you all give me a virtual thumbs up on the Zoom? All right, I'm seeing a few thumbs up. Okay, I think we're good to go. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of yes in the message box as well. So let's get this started. Again, you will put I have if you have experienced this and I have not if you haven't experienced. Okay, first question. Next slide, Kat. All right, here you go, our first question. Have you ever searched an armchair for an entire floor? One, two, three, four, I'm seeing a lot of I haves. Seven, eight, also I'm seeing I have not. Nine, and time is up. All right, before I look into your answers, um, let's put some twists on this game, all right? Um, Kat or Razel, if you're there, um, could you help me choose one lucky student? Not necessarily the first one to comment I have, but uh, the one who, who type in I have, can, you, can we call her out, you know? to share her experience or his experience on searching of an armchair on the entire floor. Um, it's Anne Ingrid Valenzuela. All right. Anne Ingrid Valenzuela, um, you have put I have in the message box. So can you briefly share with us your experience on searching for an armchair? You may unmute now, um, Ingrid. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Well, um, I I don't exactly remember what subject it was, but it was three years ago since it's been three years already since the pandemic. Yeah. And yeah, we were first year students and it was at around five or six. And yeah, we we I think a lot, I think some students had to move the chairs from our classroom to other classrooms the same way I had to search. So yeah, <laughs> yeah we, some of my classmates and I have had to search for our own armchairs just to be able to sit for our class. Yeah. So I think that's a normal, <laughs> still normal for uh, at least two years ago, you know. So thank you for sharing your experience um, in All right, I think I'm back now. Hello, everyone. Yes, sir. Narigini po may, may technical difficulty tayo. Um, okay. Kat, are you there already? Can you... Um... Yeah, can we grant access again to Rachel? My apologies. Yes, I'm not sure what's happening. I, the Zoom keeps on restarting. Yes. Uh, yes, ma'am. May, may access na si Ms. Rachel. Okay. I'm not sure 
what was the last word that I've said? But are we able to capture um, Igrid's answer from, from the last question? Yes. yes. Okay, so uh, due to the interest of time, maybe we can uh, cut off some of the, those questions. We were supposed to have eight questions, but I think uh, maybe we could only have three questions, Kat. Okay, so I'm um, proceeding to the next um, questions, or maybe let's just skip this one. Um, let's just skip this one, um, Kat. And this one as well. Yeah, so this one. All right, question. Have you ever eaten in the Anli Lugao? Yung lugawan ni Aling Nena. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm seeing a lot of I have not. I think this is a, this is a thing of the past now. All right, and time is up. Um, Kat, can you see someone that have said I have? Poor I have not yung nababasa ko. We have uh, Christine Romero. All right, um, Christine Romero, you have put I have in the message box. Can you share us your experience um, in eating Anli Lugao? Sorry, can you say the name again, Kat? Christine Romero. All right, Christine, you may unmute now. I think Christine is a bit shy. Maybe we can choose another one, Kat. Uh, it's uh, Jeremy Paular. Jeremy. Good morning, Jeremy. Yes. Could you, yes. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Good so, morning. Yun, I, I have an experience about eating Andy Lugao kasi ito lang naman yung ano, yung tanging paraan. Kumbaga parang sa uh, pagkakataong ikaw ay walang wala. Parang <laughs> ano Nasarap talaga na. <laughs> Ayun, yes. parang parang ano po, nakaka ano po siya ng gutom. Yan. You have no choice. Siyempre, kailangan mo talaga yun. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your experience. Uh, actually, before it was only for 10 pesos that you can already eat ang lilugaw. Super, super tagdipid days din dati. So not sure kung magkano na ngayon yung ang lilugaw. But yes, thank you again for sharing your experience and Yes, you are a true PUP yan. Wow, I'm seeing 25 pesos na. Sobrang nagmahal na, no? Okay, so for our um, next question. Kat. Actually, this question is for accountancy, so probably uh, some of you will not be able to relate. Pero basahin ko na din. Have you ever experienced the nerve-wracking SQE or special qualifying exams? One, two, Three, four, I'm seeing I have here. Six, seven, eight, nine, and time is up. All right, let's see their answers. Okay, Kat, if you may choose one lucky student. Um, Erica Dolores. Okay, Erica, you may unmute now. You have put I have in the message box. Um, can you briefly share with us your experience in taking the special qualifying exam? And if you could tell us what subjects are those. Good morning, po. Um, Good morning. SQE no first year, po. Um, um only um, I think ang ang pinaka major lang po nang para sa SQE is law, obligon po, and okay, part one. And no first first day ko po kasi hindi ko po alam kung ano pong room ko. Naligaw pa po ako pumunta po ako sa room ng mga second year. Tapos mag-receive ko po ng test paper. <laughs> Bakit po iba yung um subject po dito hindi po obligan. Kaya sobrang kakaba po tapos takbo ulit po dun sa to to totoo ako pong classroom. <laughs> Ang dami no. Anyway, thank you Erica for um sharing no. I was surprised may low subjects na agad ng first year and second year. Uh, back then, I think uh, law subjects will start on our third year. But yes, uh, when I was in my first year and second year, I had to go through these special qualifying exams as well. No? 
in accounting, we have what we call DOS policy, where if you get a grade lower than two in your major subjects, in your major subjects, not just in accounting, you'll have to take this SQE and pass them in order to move forward. No? So, or else you have to shift to other courses. So every exam, sabi ni Erika, super kabado, waiting for the result ng papasa. So yes, thank you again, Erika, for sharing your experience. You are a true PUPN. So um, Kat, I think we already have three questions na. Um, yes, uh, I've prepared eight, but uh, yun, so asang ka na, Kat? Ayan, ayan, ayan. So yet yeah, that's the end of our game. And for those students who were called and shared their experience, um, we have a prize for you and we'll give them at the end of this webinar. I mean, in the meantime, if you could type in your um, cell phone number in the chat box. So I'm um, Kat, if you could get that later on you know, for, for a consolidation. But um, thank you everyone for participating in the game. So now that we are alive, alert, awake, enthusiastic, let me introduce myself again very quick. I am Yada. I have a twin brother named Yada. And we are identical. Yes, um, actually, Yeda is also a PUP graduate, but uh, he graduated on QC campus. Uh, I think there's no um, QC campus here today, right? I'm only seeing General Luna, Maluna, and Tagig branch. Uh, my twin brother and I are also working for our EPH or Lead Elsevier Philippines. And facts about me. I love playing instruments, guitar, drums, and a little bit of keyboard, and music more than I love accounting. And lastly, like every one of you, I have also studied in PUP Santa Mesa as a scholar ng bayan. I'm not sure though if it's still 12 pesos per unit until now, but yes, I'm a proud alumni of PUP. Right? Next slide, Kat. So to begin with, I would like to share with you my humble beginning, which started in PUP. Two, seven, and nine. Um, anyone who can guess what is the importance of these numbers? Um, Mansory, birthday, lucky number, or perhaps number natatayan sa loto. Anyone? Student numbers. Actually, these are three of the most important numbers in the start of my journey. It was in June 2007 when I started as a freshman in PUP as a BSA student. Siyempre, it was a mix of emotions for me. Um, I feel excited, but at the same time, very nervous of what is yet to come. I was able to meet my classmates, so when I entered the classroom, I was amazed as there's a lot of different personalities, no? Merong nerdy type. Uh, merong emo. Well, that time, uso pa yung mga emo. I'm not sure if you know this and if still that exists. Yung mga... Yung... Hit me. I look into my registration card. I was in section BSA 129. Yes, BSA 129. I am not in an honored section. I graduated with the flying colors from my high school. I was first honorable mention. In going into college, I did not expect that I will be part of the normal crowd. I felt I was nothing special. Though don't get me wrong, guys. No pun intended for those that are part of the later sections. Huh? Um, it was just me being competitive and I had very high hopes for myself. So I thought very hard, what should I do? Next slide, Kat. Okay, so these are some of the important process that we need to go through and take in mind, and we will discuss each step one by one. To make it more personalized and to never forget it, I put these steps in my surname, Kami, and it stands for 
C, create your goal. A, act on it. M, meditate. A, allow yourself to have fun. And lastly, why you are the owner of your career. So our first lesson for today, create your goal. For every single thing that you need to do, you need to create a goal. Goals will be our guiding principles as we navigate through college, through our career, or just life in general. Despite not being part of the honor section, I was reminded by my goal. I did join PUP2 uh, first to graduate as a scholar ng bayan. Like every one of you, back then our family had financial difficulty, so I need to be able to graduate on college in the least cost as possible. And second, to have those three precious letters at the end of my name and be Yada Kamei, CPA. And lastly, of course, to be able to land a job. And goals may differ from one person to another. No? Some of my classmates back then, uh, they just wanted to graduate. Kesyo pasang awa pa yan, no? They just want to make their mama proud. Some wanted to graduate with flying colors. Or some wanted to be um, cum laudes, manya cum laudes. Some set their mind that they will not take board examination and go straight to job hunting. And some work really hard to pass the board exam. If you're a classmate number one who wants to graduate and make her mama proud, congratulations. If you're a classmate number two who wants to graduate with flying colors, congratulations. If you're a classmate number three who doesn't want to take the board and go straight to job hunting, congratulations. If you're a classmate number four who really wants to study hard and be a CPA, congratulations. But if you're a classmate number five who doesn't have a goal, abate ka, mag-isip-isip ka na. Why are you here? Why do you want, what do you want to achieve? No, it is never too late to have a goal. Now, how, how do we create goals? Of course, we need to be smart. What is the meaning of smart in smart goals? Right? Anyone, can you put your answers in the message box? What is the smart goals? What it stands for? Wow. Cherry, thank you very much, Cherry. Specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. Thank you for giving all of the answers, Cherry. Um, um, Kat, could you take note of um, Cherry's answer? Okay, for the purpose of this discussion or this webinar, I'll give you an example of a SMART goal. Okay, let's start with S. So we need to be specific and narrow. So for the purpose of this discussion, let's just say that we want to be a CPA or a certified public accountant. Then M, measurable. We need to have evidence that measure that we're making progress. Siyempre, kailangan natin malaman kung namimit natin yung goal natin ng paunti-unti. Hindi yung nag-set tayo ng goal na CPA pero wala tayong ginagawa. No? So maybe we can put, uh, we need to pass all the subjects. So by all subjects, I mean minor and major subjects. No? Kasi if we have failed minor subjects, then we'll need to shift to another course. No? And that will likely not to meet our goal. Okay, so next letter. A, attainable. Make sure you can reasonably accomplish your goal. Siyempre, we'll not set our goals that we want to be a nurse if we're taking accountancy course, right? It's not possible. It's not attainable. So, so CPA as a goal under BSA course, that's attainable. R, our goals should align with our values and long-term objectives. Siyempre naman, um, if you want to work as engineer in the future, why are we taking accountancy course? No, Dapat dun ka sa SEIA. <laughs> so that's not relevant. That's not aligned. And lastly, T, time-based. Um, set a realistic end date. So let's just say if you're older year now, 
then you will probably graduate next year. I'm not sure if it's still four, four years accountancy, no? kasi kami dati four years lang. Then if you're third year now, then you'll graduate next year. no? So wow, graduate na sila. Then yung goal mo could be, uh, you need to be CPA the earliest by the end of October next year. No? Para, para time-based. Okay, so that's how you create a smart goal. I'm um, next, Kat. Okay, so let's go back again to my story. Flashback on it. Um, it was during college there had been a lot of distractions, and one of them is online games. Actually, it started as LAN game, but now it's a famous online game, which is called Dota or the Defense of the Asians. Sino familiar dyan sa Dota? Um, raise nga ng hands. Wow. <laughs> Mga players na mato. And during my first year, second semesters, I also started to have a barkada no? towards second year. And we started to have our vices. We normally play computer games in between lunchtime and have a quick drink after. Yes, it's a very good memory to remember, honestly. And I'm pretty sure everyone or most of you can relate to this. Now, with the technological advancement, we can now play this kind of games in our cell phones, such as um, Mobile Legends or League of Legends, and even the rampant increase of social media use. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, and video sharing app like uh, TikTok. So I'm pretty sure that instead of doing your assignments or module as they call nowadays, you'll choose to pass time doing this Facebook, TikTok, and even Netflix. And hindi naman ako nagbamalini, syempre guilty rin ako dyan. And that takes me to my next slide. With all these vices and distractions that were available during college, is it a miracle that I've graduated? Siguro partly yes, uh, partly no. Why did I say so? Uh, because every time that I go home, every time that I go to school, I am being reminded by my goals. And I'm being reminded that I need to act on it. And yes, that is our second lesson for today. Goals are our guiding principles but just like any destination, we won't be able to reach them without starting to drive, walk, or perhaps run. So in between creating your goals and acting on it, you need to start planning and you need, and you need to, get, to set some small goals. Let's use our example earlier. Um, we want to be a CPA. So one of our small goals can be um, we need to get through first year and second year without SQE. Possible by on? <laughs> well, kung hindi possible, if we have SQEs, we need to pass all of them. Basically, our small goal is to stay in BSA until we graduate college. So, but we can still break it down into much smaller goals. It depends on you. But again, you need to always remember to act on your goals. On this lesson, I leave you a quote to remember. Don't just hope and wish take actions toward your goals. Next slide, Kat. Okay, flashback ulit tayo. So after I graduated college and passed the board examination, I had to go job hunting fast. No, I need to somehow prove I need to somehow prove to my parents that all those years in college and review school will finally pay off now. However, in the early stage of my career, it was really hard to start. You know, apply dito, apply don. I'm already a CPA no na, but it seems it's very re really hard to, to land a job. All I wanted to do was to earn money and jumpstart my career. Fortunately, I was able to land my first job in a local auditing firm. I have stayed there for almost five years. And at the start of my career, everything seems awesome. Everything seems new. Um, I'm so excited to meet different clients, my colleagues. 
Yes, I was able to travel in different places within the Philippines. No? But as life goes on, you will be challenged with, with things on different fronts at the same time. Back then, uh, when I was in audit, I got, uh, I got the news from my girlfriend. Oh, guess, guess what's the news? See, na natin. Guess what's the news from my girlfriend? Put your answers in the chat box. And if, everyone, if you could uh, stay on mute. Right, I think no one is guessing what my girlfriend used to me, but yes, um, she was pregnant. Huh? I, I did not know what to do. Um, I was 23 years old by that time. Actually, Young and ignorant. Congratulations. <laughs> 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 uh, facilitator, if you could um, meet all the participants. Yes. I won't know how to balance the unending audit season and my responsibility as soon to be father. No? And lastly, I won't be able to juggle these commitments to make ends meet. And that takes me to my lesson number three. Okay. Meditate. Sometimes there are so many things that are happening in our life that we are caged in our normal day-to-day. Sometimes you forget to take a pause. So these are a reminder to all of us. From time to time, especially when faced with challenges, you've got to take a pause. Take a step back. Assess your situation. Remember, it's okay not to be okay. So yes, that's what I did. I've taken a pause, assessed my situation. I have a baby on the way, but a little wage to support my family. A little time since I was so busy in audit. Sometimes we get so busy at our work and we did not realize we don't have a goal that we're working on. No, Parang we're like a robot. Eat, work, sleep, repeat. No, Pero sino nakaka-relate dito? No? Not necessarily at work. Ha? Well, for students, let's, uh, let's say eat, module, sleep. Well, if you're experiencing this, then you should meditate. Take a pause. Then we need to get back to lesson number one, create your goal. And lesson number two, act on it. So in my case, I again have created a list of goals. But the difference now is I have to consider my family because now, I need to be present with my family. I need to be able to provide for my family. And to have all this, um, I, I realize I need to find a job that allows and promotes work-life balance. And at the same time, giving a comprehensive compensation package. And that takes me to my next slide. All right. Life in REPH. I have started working for REPH on March 6, 2017. So yes, congrats to me. I am turning five years in a few weeks. Um, I've started my career in REPH as an accounting analyst. At first, um, I was culture shock. It is very different when I was in audit. No? Um, in REPH, just to share with you guys, there was a free coffee free juice every day. And get this, there's room where you can take a nap. Imagine that. Back in audit, I was combining chairs so I can take a nap. <laughs> Imagine that, right? Well, kidding aside, at first, I only wanted money. You know, more money and more time for my family. And then I realized I also need to work on progression of my career. I also need to be promoted. I need to climb the corporate ladder. So I've created a plan how to reach that goal. I've taken trainings that I believe will prepare me to more senior role, and I've showcased my skill to our different stakeholders. And unexpectedly, during my first year and party in REPH, I was given CX Hero Award. 
CX stands for customer experience. So basically in REPH, not only they value their, cost, their employees to a point that they make sure they receive awards and get appreciated, no? but they also make sure that their customers are happy. So I've continued my attitude at work. Um, I continue to... I got promoted as a senior accountant. I've treated that I've treated that as a new challenge to prove myself that I can do more for the company. I realize this is just a first step in climbing the cor corporate ladder. I need to do more. And with all these successes and focus on our goal, we sometimes forget to have fun. And that would take us to my next slide and my next lesson. Allowing yourself to have fun. By the way, who wants to have fun? Can you raise your virtual hand? Baka inaantok na kayo, baka nakakatulog na. So who wants to have fun, guys? Ayan, ayan. Please kissing pa tayo. <laughs> All right, good. So we need to celebrate from time to time. Let's go. Let it pour. All right, we need to celebrate from time to time. Why? When we celebrate, we feel good. When we feel good, we'll also get motivated. And when we're motivated, we will be able to do more. And when we're able to do more, we'll be more successful. Um, in short, celebrating is part of getting more successful. No? So, hindi siya dapat mawala sa equation. Hindi puro trabaho, hindi puro trabaho. Kailangan din natin magsaya. Also, when we share our success with others, we can also inspire them to be, to be motivated and be successful as well. No? So we're not only helping ourselves, but we're also helping people around us. Thus, it is very important that we celebrate and allow ourselves to have fun. And to add on this, I would like to share with you that in our EPH, we promote work-life balance. And to give a few examples of fun, ac fun activities that they are setting up every year, we have um, sports fest. So if you're a sporty guy, you know, basketball, um, volleyball, cheerleading, I think we have cheerleading in PUP, right? Badminton and many other more, then you are fit in our EPH. Then we also have Battle of the Band. So for those who are rockers, mga emo, punk's not dead, no? you will definitely enjoy our EPH. We also have team building and year-end parties. Um, last time, just to share with you, we've invited Rico Blanco as a guest of our year-end party. No? I'm not sure if that's your preferred type of music, but Rico Blanco, the best for me. And lastly, our EPH also provides quality time with your family because most of the that we have, we also invite our families to participate in. No? So it's not always about work. No? Again, lesson number four, uh, to have fun. Next slide, Kat. Okay, now we are here for our last lesson. You are the owner of your career. Due to the poem in Victus, Ernest Henley, I am the master of my faith, the captain of my soul. Napaka-importante nito, no, guys. For you. Always remember that. Some might help you, but they will, be the, they will never be the driver of your career. So in our EPH, I could proudly say that we are the owners of our career. Here at REPH, they help us reach our full potential. We have a clear career path, a lot of opportunities to grow. We have mentorship, um, leadership trainings, and more other kind of trainings. We prepare our employees so once the opportunity arises, they are ready to take on. And on top of this, sorry, excuse me. On top of this, there's also travel opportunities. Um, for me, if 
I can share with you, I was able to go to Malaysia and Singapore. No? First year ko pa lang, 2017, nakapag-Malaysia na ako. And just to share, my colleagues are going back and forth in Australia, India, and other countries. There's a lot of opportunities in, in, uh, in our APH. And actually, we will have a separate session in the afternoon to discuss more of that, you know, our, our, our opportunities in our APH. And since in our APH, uh, we are the owners of our career. Next slide, Kat. Thank you. I am now an accounting supervisor handling five team members. And to share with you some of the highlights of my career in RPH and some of which I've already mentioned earlier. Um, first is Six Hero Award in 2017, Passion for Excellence Award in 2019, nominated for Servant Leadership Award in 2021. So as you can see, RPH is not shy to give you awards to appreciate the employees. So, so I've got all of this success and I am here now with the help of our God through perseverance, resilience, and humility. I know I'm still far ahead of my journey, but I will make sure to celebrate successes and enjoy every second of it until I reach every goal I have set. And before we end our session for today, we're past the top of the hour, I would like to leave you some quotes. or not qualified, or not fit, or not experienced enough. Always remember, growth takes place when you start doing stuff you're not qualified to do. Always remember that, guys. And lastly, be scared and do it anyway. Be underqualified and get in the room anyway. Napaka-important nito. Be messy imperfect and unsure and show up anyway. Comfort is the enemy of growth. So get uncomfortable. All right, again, so just to wrap it up, always remember C-A-M-A-Y. Next slide, Kat. Always remember C-A-M-A-Y. C, create your goals, act on it, Meditate, allow yourself to have fun, and you are the owner of your career. Again, thank you for this opportunity, and I hope you have learned something today. This has been your speaker, Yada Kami, a true PUPian with the heart. We're past the top of the hour, um, Kat. I'm not sure if you can still entertain questions, but feel free to, to yes, put in you. the message box. Yes, sir. So again, maraming salamat, Mr. Yada Kamay. Pasensya na for uh, I thought you're a girl. Sorry. Yeah. No problem. There's no that's, honor... a, that, that's actually a normal mistake. Actually. Yeah. There's no honorifics on your name. Sir. <laughs> no problem. By the way, uh, most, uh, okay, may question yata tayo kay Mr. Balgona. Mr. Balgona, you're raising your hands. May tanong po ba tayo? Oh, you want to interact with us, with our speaker, Mr. Kamei? Hello, friends. Good morning. Hello. Good morning, Paul. Okay, you can speak now. Hello, Paul. Good morning. Yes, we can hear you. What what, um, what was your question, friends? Wala po akong question. Mostly na napindot ko lang po siguro. Ah, okay. Pero I just want to say thank you for for an creative and informative talk. And the last part, po, the be scared and do it anyway. So for my career po in the future, I'm gonna do it anyway because it's very empowering for the talk and I have uh, learned a lot from uh, this webinar. Thank you po. Thank you. Thank you, friends. Uh, appreciate that. Okay. Maraming salamat, Mr. Bargona. So guys, may tanong po ba kayo kay Sir Kamei? Sir Kamei, I want to take this opportunity to invite you also to become part of the PUP Balik Sintang Paralan, the PUP Alumni Webinar Series. So as PUPian, uh, pwede ka pong mag-talk mag doon, not just about your company, <laughs> but also your, uh, your endeavor. 
<laughs> All right, sure, sure. Um, Opo, Miss Mabel will get in touch sa'yo in a while. Siguro will email you for your ano, for your topics and your availability availability, availability you, of schedule. So guys, it, it will be an honor. Ba, yes, thank you, sir. May tanong po ba tayo kay Sir Kami? Accountancy, College of Arts and Letters. From PUP Maragondon and PUP uh, Taguig plus PUP General Luna. Sir, may tanong ako. Ako may tanong. Go ahead, ma'am. Ma'am Lindsay, by the way, nandito ka na. Are you going to admit or accept OJT, uh, OJT or internship? Mm -hmm. Actually, for that question, ma'am, I have here the HR that could probably answer you more accurate. I'm um, Razel or Kat? Yes, pa. Hi, hi, I'm Kat uh, Lisay, DHR Supervisor for Branding and Corporate Communications of Fidel Severe Philippines. So yes, um, the good news is uh, we are accepting finance and accounting interns. So this is open for uh, College of Accounts, uh, College of Accountancy and Finance, third year and fourth year students. So what's in it for you if you join, um, if you become an, uh, uh, if you become our intern for Riedel Silver Philippines, of course, we will be providing you allowance. And then, yes, this is work from home. So uh, we will also be providing you your equipment and we will have it delivered straight to your home. And let me also take this opportunity to um, invite everyone. Um, if you know someone who is already Already a graduate of finance and accounting we are accepting finance and accounting fresh graduates for uh the following roles hold on just one second let me okay so it's accounts payable administrator and credit control administrator again we are accepting fresh graduates of college of uh of fresh graduates of finance and accountancy so just a quick trivia, in Reed Elsevier, Philippines, we our entire employee population is actually composed of 12% PUP graduates. So if you can imagine, so the success of Reed Elsevier, Philippines definitely is um, the one of the best factors that we have is because contributed by the 12% employee population, mainly coming from PUP. So oh, PUPN. Yes, uh, yeah. <laughs> so let me just um uh, next slide, please, Rachel. So what's in it for you if um uh you become part of Real Silver Philippines? So we have multiple career opportunities that support your personal and professional development, as um Yada uh, have mentioned earlier. We have also in-house training programs. We definitely care for your health. That's why we have HMO coverage for you and your dependents starting day one of your employment, eighth hour shift, including lunch, flexible retirement plan for all employees, and of course, competitive total rewards package. So yes, make sure that you achieve your hashtag company goals and build your career with the company that values what matters. So you may just go ahead and send your applications. For those who will be applying as um, accounts uh, payable administrator um, and credit control administrator, again, this is open for fresh graduates of finance and accountancy. You can send it over to Manila Careers at VitalSiver.com. And if you're applying for intern, you may also send your uh, resume to um, Manila Careers at VitalSiver.com. Make sure that you just put in the subject internship for finance. And That's it. Okay, so Okay, so Ma'am, paano naman daw po si ano? Paano naman daw po? Meron po kasi kami accountancy sa PU po branches, branches and campuses. Pwede niyo daw po ba silang i-accept as intern? Or uh, what branch, ma'am? Sorry. We do have from PUP Tagui. We also do have from PUP uh, PUP Mulanay. Meron din po kami, I guess, Ragay. Yun po yung may bachelor in accountancy sa amin. Yeah, well, uh, we are still working from home at the moment. Lang. So, um, uh, so long as we can Bye. deliver. Yes, so for wait. Okay. Ano password nito? Uh, All right, let's go, Angelica. <laughs> it's okay. So yeah, we can. We we are still working from home at the moment. We're actually working from home until further notice. 
So if um, we are going to deliver your equipment, so I believe you're, if you're still in Metro Manila, we can go ahead and send you your equipment, have it delivered straight to your home, and then, you know, experience working with Vidal Severe Philippines as an intern. Okay, maraming salamat ma'am. So guys, at least yung Manila, meron po tayong opportunities. You do have your, uh, they are accepting interns for from third year and fourth year. By the way, we do have internship for bachelor on accountancy and financial management as well. So ma'am, ayun, banking and finance naman sa John Kipo. Pwede rin po ba sila sa inyo ma'am? Let me go ahead and check. Uh, Miss Elaine, are you here? Hi. The answer is yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes, we also welcome from banking. Uh, we, we also welcome graduates from banking and finance. I mean, students from banking and finance. Okay. So, maraming salamat na. Maraming salamat po. Maraming salamat, Red Elsevier. And again, thank you. And I'll see you again later for... Uh, ayun, ma'am, may tanong pala. May tanong from Miss Lalaine Belen. Miss Lalaine? Yeah, so um, do we accept business and accountancy students yes. for internship? Yes, we do. So again, um, uh, we so um, we are ac uh, accepting internships. We are going to um, advertise it in our social media pages. So you may go ahead and um, uh, check out our social media pages in Facebook, Read All Severe Philippines, and we will be posting our internship availabilities. Again, this is work from home, so you know, take advantage of it, and then we can uh, send you your equipment directly. Yay to your place okay ma'am marketing uh marketing management no for as, for mar management. as for marketing i'm gonna have to go ahead and um uh check on that one uh, because right now what we have is for finance and accountancy or uh, banking and finance but um we will go ahead and uh post it on our social media pages definitely Okay, maraming salamat. Maraming salamat, ma'am, and I'll see you again later for our for our afternoon session. So guys, you're welcome to join us on the afternoon se afternoon session with Red Elsevier. So, and again, let me invite you. Meron po kaming career um virtual career and internship internship pair this coming 28th of February from 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock in the afternoon. So, marami tayong industry na mag, pwedeng mag-recruit as or magbigay sa inyo ng job offer as an interns. So, the the link will be posted for the virtual internship or virtual career and virtual career in inter internship pair sa PUP Career Center Facebook page. So, guys, so you can go and check on the link. So maraming salamat Sir Kami, maraming salamat Miss Kat and uh the rest of the Red Elsevier gang. Opo, maraming salamat at alam ko tatak PUPians ang nasa Red Elsevier. So I'll see you again guys later. So for our next speaker, let me share my screen. Wait lang po ah. Saan pa po ba tayo? While I'm uh, checking on my screen. Sa Facebook, kung may tanong po ha, saglit lang tayo.
Okay, so for our next speaker to discuss about speaker to discuss about virtual interview, resume writing, and power dressing, let's welcome Miss Angelica Echo from BXI Global Holdings. BB Philippines. Good morning, ma'am. Ma'am, nakamute ka po, Miss Angelica. 
Sorry. Hi. Uh, good morning. Again, my name is Angelica. So I'm currently part of the talent acquisition team here in VXI. And um, right now, I am here today to discuss about resume writing, power dressing, and interview tips. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, uh, can you hear me po? Yes po, audible po. I see. I need your help po to present um, the screen, the deck that we sent um, yesterday. Ang po ah, wala po ba mag-assist sa inyo ma'am? Wala po so po. Apo, wait lang po ah. So ma'am, okay. So do we accept while waiting para po ma-upload yung, uh, yung deck? So ma'am, while waiting po, meron po bang uh, do we accept virtual interns? Right now, we can have them send their resume to careersph.vxi.com and if we do have any openings, we will call them or, um, or we will invite them if we have like, opportunities. Mm. Wait lang po, ah. So, ma'am, saan po nila pwedeng isend yung ano? Saan po nila pwedeng isend yung kanilang resume? Oh, okay. They can send it to careersph at vxi.com. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Saglit lang po, ha? While waiting for the technique. While, while waiting po. Kasi akala namin may mag-assist po para sa inyong presentation. Okay, so... Wait lang po ah. We just have to download the files. Uh, we do we do have we do have the files with us, but uh, in case that you have encounter uh yeah, may technical problem. So that's the reason. Wait lang po ah. Hold on. Okay. So wait for that. Wait lang po. Okay, ma'am, you can talk about your industries muna habang naghihintay po. Okay. Okay. So, um, good morning again, everyone. So, just to give you a brief background about um, about VXI. So, uh, VXI is a leading provider of business processing information technology outsourcing, offering comprehensive services to its clients. So, our company specializes in a customer a service and customer experience a solutions to the world of leading brands so uh, we do offer or we provide um, innovative and transform uh, transformative customer care as well and um, we specialize as well in cost in call center and in business process so this um that's vxi so okay. right now we are hiding for customer service representative and technical support representative. And uh, we have nine, um, we have currently nine sites here in the Philippines. We have four sites in Davao and the rest is uh, located here in Luzon. So we have in Makati, Moa, Quezon City. Uh, the newest um, site that we have is located in Bridgetown. And then the last one is in Clark, Pampanga. Okay, ma'am, so ready next slide, New, uh, guys. Can you give me a thumbs up if nabugin nyo na po yung slides? So, pasensya na ha. We're experiencing technical difficulties. I guess due to Zoom, medyo nagre-report error siya sa akin. So, mar uh, maraming salamat for bearing with us. Okay, ma'am, na nakikita nyo na po ba yung slide nyo? Yes po. Okay, ma'am, you can start your discussion now. Okay. Um, next slide, Bob. Okay. 
So um, I am here, uh, guys, today to talk about the agenda that we have here. So let's start with our resume writing. Next one would be power dressing. And then the last one would be interview tips. So um, let's start with our resume writing. Next slide, po. Mm -mm. Next. Mm -mm. Yes, next book. Okay. So uh, let's start uh, with our resume. So what is a resume? So um, a resume is a short, a concise, and straight-to-the-point document that is used for job applications. So the main purpose of a resume is to uh, give the interviewer a brief overview of the candidate's work history, and it also serves or presents as a concise picture of your skills and qualifications to the specific position. So it tends to be shorter and dictated by the years of experience. So we often use this our resume when we are applying for a job. And then um, the next uh, would we have here, um, the difference between a resume and a curriculum vitae. So as I mentioned earlier, so a resume is a short and concise a document that we use when we are applying for a job. However, curriculum vitae is a more on are mainly used for academic purposes. So it is an in-depth um, document that is used to describe um, the whole course of your career in full detail. So it uh, contains um, your educational background, your professional career, personal information, awards, honors, achievements, publications if you have any, and the full history of your academic credentials. So, so um, there's no specific length limit with uh, curriculum vitae. So it can be like uh, two to three pages long or more than two to three pages long. And uh, again, it's um, mainly used for academic purposes. And since we are, um, uh, we use resume when we apply for a job, so we will focus on that one. So uh, with resume, uh, sometimes it can be like one page only or, or one to two pages long. Okay, the next one uh, we have here, uh, what to include on you, in your resume. So the first one, of course, your personal information. We need to add your legal name, like the first name and the last name. And we need, uh, or you need to add your active phone number as well as your active email address. So uh, these two are very um, are important or vital, especially that we are in the middle of pandemic right now. And we are currently practicing having your interviews remotely or over the phone interview. So um, they, these are the only way that we can connect with the candidates so we really need um or you guys really need to add your um active phone numbers as well as the email as well and uh with the email address kindly add uh, your professional email address because a resume is um is a way on how you want to be presented so kindly make sure that you use your your professional email address Okay. And then the next one, we have um, the work history. So kind of take note that when you add your work history, you'll start with your most uh, recent work experience down to the first employment that you had. And you have to add the name of the company as well as your position there. And also the inclusive dates like the year um, or the date you started working with them and the date that you ended your contract or your employment with them. And then um, the next one, uh, by the way, with work history, uh, if you happen to have a work history or um, a previous work experience that is not related or relevant to the position that you are applying for, you can actually skip those and focus on the work experiences that you had that is related or relevant to the position. Okay, since the goal of the resume is to be shorter and concise. Okay, and then um, the next one, we have educational background. So with your educational background, you have to add the name of the school 
the course and then the year you attended and the year the year you graduated okay and then um the next one we have the skills so the soft and technical skills on this part you have to weigh all the skills that you have right now like um you have to think if um the skill that you have or this skill is real or is related or relevant to the position that you are applying for so you have to emphasize all the skills and assets that you have that you think uh, might help you to win or to get the job so for example you are applying for a call center agent position and here in vxi by the way we are hiding for an international account so you can uh for the skills you can add that you are proficient in using the english language or knowledgeable in terms of using different microsoft offices and computer literate so it will uh it actually depends on the account or or the position that you are applying for okay and then uh the next one we have here a uh, character reference so it's actually um it will depend because you can provide those information upon upon request okay. and then um next slide please So the next one would be a power dressing. So first, um, you have to research about the company's culture or the company's address code. Um, can we, yeah. the next, oh, please. Okay. So the second one is um, you may try to invest in a power outfit. Try out your interview outfit and don't over accessorize. Also, uh, groom yourself like a take a bath, a, a cut your nails, as long as you look presentable during the interview. Next book. Okay, so let's now talk about the interview tips. So just to give you guys an idea on how we conduct an interview. So we have uh, this uh, six factors that uh, we consider uh, to validate the candidates like um, communication skills. So the first one, we need to check the pronunciation and the accent. The second one, we need to check the grammar. Third would be the fluency. Fourth uh, would be on um, the Lexis. And we have we have to check the comprehension. By the way, the Lexis um, is the way that we can check the vocabulary of the candidate. The next one is um, comprehension or, or comprehend uh, cohesiveness of the candidate. So we have to check if the answer of the candidate is somehow related or relevant to the questions that was that was asked. And then the next or the last one would be tone. Since we are hiding for a customer service representative, so we really need to um, be uh, to observe the tone of the candidate. We have to check if it is friendly, uh, friendly, encouraging, or if it is enticing. Because um, if they will get hired, we don't want to assist with the customers that they, that we have. So they have to build a, um, a rapport. Okay, so um, for the in uh, going back to the interview tips, so when you speak, um, make it a habit to open your mouth more so you can pronounce the words the words properly, and then you can practice speaking in front of the mirror. So in in this way or in that way, you um, can be confident or comfortable in terms of using the English language and listen to yourself speak and observe if you are able to convey the message to the listener and also um, you have kindly read more. This is very helpful and you can watch English programs and check on how um, the flow goes or how uh, they pronounce uh, some words and improve your listening skills. So this um, this is very important as well uh, because we need to observe it, or you need to observe if your answers, answers were related to the questions that was given to you. So that's part of the scoring that we have as well when we um, the, conduct the initial interview. And also, um, don't be afraid to make mistakes, but every, uh, but kindly uh, take note that every time that you make a mistake, you will learn something for, from it. So don't be discouraged. Uh, um, take it as an opportunity instead to improve more. Okay, um, the next, uh, next slide, please. Okay, so acing the interview. So first we have here um, the body language. Okay, next please. 
So first, we have here uh, the body language. So the body language is 55% uh, of the message we send. Remember to have a body language that exudes positivity. And for um, the words, uh, selection of words is very important. Avoid using jargons to avoid misunderstanding. And also refrain from using highfalutin words. Don't use a certain word uh, multiple times and use positive scripting or uh, positive phrasing. And uh, with the voice, uh, gain attention by changing your volume. Use emphasis and inflection to convey interest. Next slide, please. Okay. Um, getting ready. Uh, let's now talk about uh, getting ready for your application. So the first one. Next, please. Okay, so uh, first we have, or you guys have to research, research about the organ organization. So what is the culture and what is in the industry is all about. And then the next one uh, would be analyze uh, the job description and requirements. You can learn about common interview questions online and so you can prepare responses, but kindly make sure, uh, kindly make sure, kindly take note that when you prepare responses, kindly um or don't, make it sound that you are reading a script or um yeah or reading a script make it a sound uh, natural uh, natural as possible okay and also you have to fix your posture next please okay and also you have to prepare your outfit update your resume um or the curriculum with day you can um always um Take note that you have to indicate your most recent work experience on your resume and also prepare to take notes because uh, sometimes the uh, interviewer will give you some information that um, they think you need to remember. So it's um, okay to prepare uh, or to prepare to take, to take notes. Okay, the next uh, we have here. Next, please. Okay, so I uh, always check the audio or video prior to the interview. So there will be like technical issues in the middle of the interview. Mm -hmm. Next, please. Okay, so um, these are the recommendation or the tips that we uh, we would like to share on your interview so the first um first is always a smile be optimistic be cheerful or be encouraging during the interview also prepare like address well uh you did your research about the company the culture or the position that you are applying for third is get on the same side as the interviewer and be nice to the interviewer as well fourth would be the body language so kind of make sure that you don't uh, make any unnecessary movement that can cause destruction uh, distraction and also five would be uh, keep an eye contact to the interviewer and then um the last one uh, would be Okay. Uh, always close your sentences on a positive note. Mm -mm. Next, please. Okay. And also, um, I think uh, that's the end of our discussion. And I'd like to leave um, this on or with a motivational quote from Dr. Joyce Brothers. So a strong, a positive self-image is the best possible preparation for success. Okay, so uh, that's all uh, for now. Okay, that's maraming salamat. Yeah. Uh, maraming salamat. Uh, maraming salamat, Miss um, MJ. So guys, tama po ba? Uh, Miss Angelica pala, sorry. Sorry, <laughs> it's okay. Uh -oh. Nagulat lang ako, pasansya na po. Nagulat kami kasi sabi ko bakit walang katulong siya to present her slide. So... Uh, while checking the email of your of VXI, we found out na due to pag nagkaroon lang daw ng technical difficulty. Mm -hmm. So we have to download your slides. So pasensya na guys kung nagkaroon ng konting delay tayo at medyo nagkakaproblema rin si Zoom. Okay po. So guys, may tanong po ba tayo kay Miss Angelica? Miss Angelica, may, uh, welcome po ba ang OJT interns from PUP branch and campuses? 
Um, we, yes, but right now, um, not yet sure if we have any openings for um our for internship. But uh, as I have mentioned earlier, they can send their resume to careersph at vxi.com. And just in case that we have an opening, uh, we'll call them or we'll get back to them. Okay, maraming salamat guys. So let me remind everyone that the e-certificate or the evaluation link is now posted at the Zoom chat and the comment section of the PUP PUP Career Center Facebook page. You can log, uh, you can answer that, and you can participate in answering that is uh, that evaluation link, and we'll be giving you your e certificate or your digital certificate two to three weeks after the conduct of this webinar. So, guys, may tanong pa po ba kay Miss Angelica? Can you give me a virtual clap for Miss Angelica for a job well done? So, guys, virtual clap tayo. Okay, five, seven, eight, nine. So, gising pa ba tayo lahat dyan? Can you can you type in one if you do have uh if you don't have question to Miss Angelica or type two if you do have question to Miss Angelica? Okay, guys. Okay, mukhang ma malinaw pa sa sikat ng araw, mukhang wala silang question sa inyo. So Guys, pwede daw tayong or pwede kayong mag-apply sa BXI okay. as virtual intern. Send your resume to the BXI. Ma'am, paki-type in na lang po yung, okay. yung inyong, okay. anong tawag dito? Email okay. address. Section. So, para hindi po ma-mistype uh, ma nila. Okay? Kung saan nila okay. isi-send ang kanilang. Hold on. Okay. Career um careers page. Uh, bxi dot com. So guys, while well, Miss Angelica is typing in, po tayo sa ating mga sa ating mga nanonood sa PUP Facebook page. So later, meron pa po tayong afternoon session, and we'll see you again later. Okay, so habang isinisa ni Miss Angelica ang email address sa at ating Zoom chat para ating may spell out. So it's careers ph dot at, at bxi.com. Okay, so it's career, career with an S, ph at bxi.com. So guys, so dalawang best ko pong ulitin ha, it's careers with s p h at bxi.com so you can send your resume there your application letter para po mag-apply as interns sa bxi so maraming salamat miss angelica and in behalf of the alumni relation and career development office i'm professor jane s kulma signing off sayonara thank you ma'am and i'll thank see you, you once again next time Okay, thank guys. You. Thank you. Thank you, mom. Thank you. So, PUP him na po tayo. So, Okay, so...